folks, right now, silver is breaking the internet. Silver is exploding. And I mean that quite literally now. $31.45. This is the one day chart. Look at the one week chart. For the past five days, silver went from $28 up to $31.50 and it's looking like it's not going to stop anytime soon since now all the hype is coming out. You're going to see new investors, you're going to see old investors rushing in because they understand what's about to happen. All this new money flowing in which Remember, silver is a much smaller market than gold, so prices are more easily affected with money coming in and out. It works both ways, and that's why I call it gold on steroids, because it's a more exaggerated version of gold. It hits higher highs and lower lows. So right now, silver is about to do big things as it already has. Well, folks, where can you buy silver at really cheap prices? I got you guys. Miles Franklin has the best prices around. I don't care if you buy from XYZ, every single place I've looked at, I've been able to beat their price. Some people say, oh, I can get a better price on this site. I say, oh, really? Okay, go look the price. $38 for a freaking Buffalo round. And yes, this is the quote unquote cheapest place everyone goes to. $38 for a Buffalo round. They assume that's the cheapest place. When they talk to me, I can always beat their price. Slayer at milesfranklin.com, 330-485-6172. I'm tired of people emailing me saying that some company ripped their head off or their order got lost or taken at their doorstep and the place didn't care, their customer service didn't respond. None of that you have to worry about with Miles Franklin, folks. Anyways, yeah, make sure you also subscribe because right now you got to be up to date. Times are crazy right now, folks. You have to be up to date on a daily basis of what's happening with the price of silver, why it's getting affected to these degrees, and I will cover that on a daily basis. So click the subscribe button and also click the bell. What's going on with silver right now? Well, gold's record-setting rally may have captured the headlines this year, but it's silver that's running harder and faster as the less glamorous metal benefits from robust financial and industrial demand. Silver has soared by more than a quarter this year, outpacing gold and making it one of the year's best performing major commodities. Yet in relative terms, silver is still cheap. It currently takes about 80 ounces of silver to buy one ounce of gold compared with the 20 year average of 68. Now that is huge news. The gold to silver ratio is a great tool to see what silver's going to do or what gold's going to do and also what their value is compared to each other. Silver's still extremely undervalued compared to gold. So yes, you might think $31.50 silver is high. That's nothing. That is still pennies to what it is compared from, especially given that it's much more valuable than gold in terms of real world uses. So spot silver rose as much as 3.3% to $30.55 an ounce as of 9.21 a.m. New York time on Friday, its highest since February 2013. Gold prices were up as much as 1.2% to $2,405, right? The last time we saw silver riding up this wave, it was on the way to $50. The two metals have largely in tandem, or move largely in tandem, as they both offer similar macro and currency hedging properties, with gold hitting a record on central bank buying, retail interest in China, and a resurgence in bets lower U.S. interest rates are on the way, silver has gone along for the ride, and will continue to, although there's been scant interest rate from investors in silver-backed ETFs, physical sales have been picked up, including Singapore-based dealer Silver Bullion PTE. And this is, check this out, even clients who are interested in buying gold are starting to say, well, maybe I'll buy silver first and wait for the ratio to sort of rebalance, end quote. Said founder, Gregor Gregerson, what a name. And that's a good point though, right? Why would you buy gold if gold is overvalued compared to silver? You wanna buy the one that's undervalued, not overvalued. Silver's undervalued compared to gold. So why, you gotta buy the thing that's under the value, it's undervalued. The white metal has just broken 
headlines, right? It's just been making headway against its dear cousin in relative terms, right? Gold was getting all of the the attention, but that's about to flip. And when news outlets and everyone catches wind of silver breaking these highs, and last time it broke past $30 up to this, it was on the way to 50, everyone's gonna start jumping on board. It's going to be saying, and then you add Wall Street silver and the guys are gonna try to, silver, try to corner the market. Things are about to get exciting, folks. Back in January, the gold to silver ratio was about 90, the most stretched since September, 2022. Citigroup reckons that if the U.S. Federal Reserve proceeds with interest rate cuts and economic growth stays strong in the second half, the ratio could move to around 70. That meaning silver is going to go even higher compared to gold, although it cautioned that a slowdown would push it the other way according to a note. I don't think that what uh, one factor is has against silver is going to affect it as much as it previously did because we broke past that very strong $30 level and it's sitting up here now so it's a lot easier for it to stay higher whereas before it was touching that $30 level so things that would push it back had a lot more strength to do so but now it's building strength that even if something negative happens it's going to stay up there it's like a spring and it's, 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 it's gaining momentum. Silver has a dual character, valued for both its uses as a financial asset and an industrial input, including clean energy technologies. The metal is a key ingredient in solar panels and with robust growth in that industry, usage of the metal is expected to reach a record this year, according to the Silver Institute. Against that backdrop, the market is headed for a fourth year in deficit, with this year's shortage seen as the second biggest on record. So not only is silver about to skyrocket, and, um, and, and then you have all these news outlets and all this new money gonna be coming in, all these new investors want their slice of the silver pie, but there's a massive shortage, which means low supply, high demand does what? Pushes the price up. So not only is the Federal Reserve going to be affecting the price of silver, but also the demand, right? Also the demand. You have this situation that has never happened before, especially given today's circumstances. We have the November election coming up. We have, uh, do you wanna know what the supply deficits have been for the last three years? Over half a billion ounces in the red. We have a silver supply deficit of over half a billion ounces just in the last three years. Imagine in three years from now, we don't have enough silver, not to go green, not for the military, not even for ourselves. And when, and that day is coming sooner, when that day comes, when it's obvious, when everyone wakes, wakes up and says, whoa, silver is the most critical metal, the most critical element on the periodic table, but we have none of it. There's no silver left. Even the LBMA and the COMEX and the LME vaults even admitted that their stockpiles are running dry. Then people realize, this metal sitting at $31 is beyond undervalued. It is beyond cheap. It should be worth more than gold. Gold sits around in a vault and sticks on people's necks and does nothing. Silver literally makes the world go round. It is used to make the world go green for zero net emissions by the year 2050, where we have mandated, de uh, we have mandated um, you know, issues in place to set these solar panels. And now military is coming out and we're realizing how much silver is used in military and silver wins wars since it's used in missiles, 500 ounces of silver in a single Tomahawk missile, 11,000 ounces in some torpedoes. We need silver for everything and anything you could possibly think of, but there's not much left of it and it's extremely cheap. And that hand is going to get exposed very, very soon. I've always said triple digit silver. But when, so, uh, Slayer, you can mark me back, go back to my videos in 2018, 2019, I've been saying the same thing. By the year 2025, 2026, silver will hit triple digits. I've been calling this for years now. I was never someone that said silver is going to hit $300 uh, next year, back in 2018. No, I was letting people know we're still several years away, but now the time is coming. 
Why? Because by now, the Green New Deal, the silver shortage will be exposed enough. We will be in the year of the presidential election. All these things are coming into play now, and it's starting to all unfold. The stars are aligning. The perfect storm is here, and silver's value is going to be exposed. Mark my words. I've been saying this for years, and it's looking like as time goes on, I'm going to be right. And you don't want to be on the other end of the side. You don't want to be on the short end of the stick. Silver stackers will get the last lap. I've been saying that for a long time, and they will. So that's lead indus- industrial users, which typically rely on miners for supply, talking about this shortage second, the second biggest on record, to seek ounces by draining the world's major inventories. They're draining the inventories. What do you think Elon Musk? He needs silver for Tesla, SpaceX, Solar City, uh, Skylink or whatever, Starlink or whatever it's called. He bought a silver mine. Why do you think all the biggest, the, the most wealthiest, most sex, successful billionaires in the world are buying silver? Warren Buffett doesn't touch gold with the 10-foot pole, he said, and I quote those terms. He focuses on silver. Why? Because silver has real-world uses and it's undervalued. Elon Musk bought a silver mine. Jim Rogers bought silver. Even the man himself. Even the man himself. Who am I talking about? Bill Gates. Even Bill Gates, folks. But not only just wealthy billionaires, but also you have countries. India, their silver imports are up 256% this year. China, major, the, most, the, the, the largest consumer of silver. They started focusing on silver and said, we're going to focus on silver instead of gold now. Russia buying record amounts of silver and gold. All the central banks buying record amounts of precious metals. But why? Why, if this metal was worth nothing, like they're going to try to portray it as because they want all it for themselves, then why are they buying so much of it? Well, you know why. Price is the greatest tool of misdirection. If silver was $200 right now, everyone would want it. They would obsess over it. They would idolize over it. But since it's $30, only those that know its true value want it. It's the misdirection. But it's a manipulated, man-made, held-back price manipulation. It's not its natural real price. And if it was, it would be worth more than gold. See what I'm saying? Over the next two years, the LBMA stockpiles may may be depleted given the current pace of demand, right? Because if we're already half a billion ounces in the red and LBMA COMEX vaults already admit that their vaults are running empty, we might literally run out of silver. And I mean that to the most literal sense ever. The headline figures overstates the available volume of the metal given that includes ETF holdings. And remember when uh, I used to talk about the silver shortage and people say, Slayer, you are crazy. The, I could still go on blah, blah, blah and buy silver. You're, you're exaggerating. I said, no, I'm not. I'm not talking about us. I'm not talking about you going on wherever and not being able to buy an eagle right now. I'm talking about in the coming years. We literally are bleeding ourselves dry. There is a shortage. And you're going to know when it's, you're going to know too late because with that mindset, you're assuming that we have a lot more time than we do. Quote, we are going to see supplies tightening because industrial demand is set to go higher. Quote, if investors are also starting to buy, then I think in two, three months this time, my biggest problem might end up being where do I find supply rather than how do I sell the silver? Hmm. And by the way, if you wanted to find supply, well, one place is guaranteed to have silver when, none of, when no others can. You know that place? Miles Franklin. Do you know that we filled the two biggest silver orders ever on record? Andy Sheckman, two years ago, this Texas billionaire bought $50 million of silver, 900,000 eagles, over 100,000 ounces in junk, and the rest in gold. He filled that order in two days. First of all, Who's going to trust someone with $50 million? Not many people will, but they could trust Andy. They could trust Miles Franklin because we are trusted. You think someone, and who's going to be able to pull off an order that big? Nobody can, but Andy can. No one else on this earth could pull off an order like that. He pulled it off in two days. Do you think these other companies can know how to source 900,000 eagles? No. 
but Andy can't. And because we're one of the only few authorized dealers that could still work directly with the US Mint. So we can get silver directly from the supply. All these, all these other countries have to, or all these other dealers have to find third party alternatives, meaning that they have to mark their prices up, especially in times that eagles are going to start skyrocketing in premiums. And we, we buy back silver for the highest prices above anyone else. So folks, I'm telling you, when I say slayer at milesfranklin.com, or when I say call me 330-485-6172, I'm saying that not for my sake, but for your own, I guess, but for ours both. Because you benefiting me makes me also want to benefit you. And I can do things that other, other companies can't do. It's just, it's a win-win situation for everyone. But anyways, folks, I'm going to wrap this video up here. Uh, I got some other work to do. Uh, my phone has been going off the hook, showing you that much, you know, much of this silver that's going around is going to be uh, depleted in the next couple of days, especially since everyone is, you know, trying to get their hands on a slice of the silver pie, but there's simply not enough pie to go around. So yeah, anyways, thanks for tuning in. This was Silver Slayer. Make sure you subscribe, click the bell, because I post daily. I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.